Liverpool currently sits six in the Premier League table, four points outside of top four with the fourth place team having a game in hand. Liverpool are coming off of a 3-1 loss to Brentford, and although Brentford isn't the household name of clubs that you'd expect to hear about beating Liverpool, Brentford are sitting comfortably in the top half of the table this season. Regardless of that, the fact remains that Liverpool have lost a significant amount of games already this season, and we're only halfway through the season. Now, I looked at this and I thought to myself, of what could possibly be the cause and I know all of you were probably analyzing the matches yourselves and looking at it and really to me there's two reasons I'm gonna give you guys some examples of why I think Liverpool are allowing in so many goals and scoring so few now with that in mind like I said we're only four points out of top four and so in the big picture it's not that big of a deal but when you get down to the nitty-gritty it can be concerning and we do have to ask the question, what is going on with Liverpool this season? Before we jump into this analysis, guys, I just want to thank you all for being here and watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It's completely free, guys. It takes about two seconds. All right. Let's get into this. Going back to the Premier League table, if we look at goals for and goals against at this point in the season, all right, 17 matches in, let's just round it up to halfway through, all right, even though it's not. Liverpool only have a goal difference of 12 with 34 goals for and 22 goals against. Okay, goal difference of 12, you're like, okay, that's, you know, it's, I've definitely seen worse. But if we look at the totals of last season, Liverpool had 94 goals for and just 26 goals against. We are less than halfway through the season, and Liverpool already have 22 goals against. Just four more goals, and we will have tied our goals against of all of last season. Not to mention, we have only scored roughly a third of the amount of goals that we scored last season. Let's first touch on the obvious thing, which is injuries. Luis Diaz and Diogo Jota have both been out for a while now. Luis Diaz not expected to come back until March. And the fact remains is that Luis Diaz and Diogo Jota, especially Diogo Jota last season, were huge goal contributors. So we take that into account and you could say injuries, all right? A lot of Liverpool fans will probably say that the midfield is the real reason. So let me take a look at what's going on in the midfield. So I just want to bring up a match from earlier this season and show you good Liverpool play. Liverpool play that we've seen previously, okay? And I want to break it down for you so you can watch the style and how Liverpool, how their formation during the match impacts their ability to score and defend. I've chosen one match, the Tottenham match from earlier this season. I thought that was a very well-played match on both sides of the ball. So the big thing you'll notice right off the bat is Bobby Firmino is starting in the center forward spot. Right now, recently, Klopp has been playing Oxlade-Chamberlain on the left because of the lack of winger play with Gakko probably gonna start playing here soon. But Darwin Nunez has been playing through the middle. At this point in time, he was playing on the left, so keep that in mind. But what I want everyone to focus on is what Roberto Firmino is able to create coming through the middle of the field that at this point in time, Darwin Nunez isn't doing and Oxley chamberlain on the left isn't doing. So you see here, let's pause it right here. You look at what Bobby Firmino and Salah just did, okay? Look at the lack of space between the midfield and the front line for Liverpool here. Liverpool's link up, there's no gap, okay? There's no gap. And look at what that does to Tottenham's defense. It draws in every midfielder and every defender. Not to mention, Bobby is now pulled back. He's come short to receive that ball off of Salah and Elliott. And now look, Robbo, all the space in the world on the opposite side of the pitch, and he finds him, okay? This is just one example, but look what it leads to. Tottenham all out of sorts, lays it off to Salah, and he finishes. So I mentioned the space before. You want to minimize the space on defense, and you also want to minimize the space on offense, because then it contracts the defense and opens up spaces in the wide channels. Okay, if we look at this throw in here from Leicester, look at how the defense collapses. Look at that. Harvey wins it. Ox, quick outlet pass to Darwin Nunez, and he's open. He's in space, and Darwin's pace is going to bring him around Faust or whatever, and Salah only missing the finish. This is just another example of what I'm talking about. Liverpool right now are leaving so much space. And if you don't believe me, let me show you. Let's take a look at the Brentford match, okay? So look, here Liverpool lose the ball in the box, okay? Now look at the counterattack here. Let's pause it right here. Look at this. Fabinho and Samikas are tracking back. Van Dijk is pulled all the way towards the outside channel. And look at the counterattack here. It's just quick open space 
okay, and a quick counterattack leading to a chance from Brentford. This is just one example. Let's keep going. Let's go to the Leicester match, the previous game, okay? So you look at this here, right here. Let's pause it. Look at all this space in the midfield, okay? There's one midfielder. Trent's tracking back. Matip had to shift over, and Henderson has to fill in back there, okay? That's nothing new. We've done that in the past, but look at the sheer amount of space. We're not cutting out the space defensively. And what does this lead to? Let's take a look, okay? Tiago jogging back. The play is switched. Look at all that space. If it was a better pass, that's a goal. Luckily, Van Dyke clears it, and Liverpool avoid any issues there. And let's go back to the offense for a second. Remember how Bobby Firmino drops deep, creates that link between the midfield, and then there's a buildup and you have spaces in the wide channels? Let's just take a look at this right here. Look at where Ox is, right on the shoulder of Darwin Nunez. They're in the same channel, okay? Same channel. Salah's all the way wide. And the nearest midfielder is Harvey Elliott. There's no link. There's no link here. And so Trent plays the ball to Harvey, okay? And look, Harvey has one pass on, it's Salah. Bravo, Ox, and Darwin are way over here on the left side. Unless it's a beautiful cross, a world-class cross, you're not going to get anything. And ultimately what happens is the play breaks down once you reach the final third because none of our links on the front line are in the midfield. They're all hugging the shoulders of defenders. And what does that lead to? Defenders clearing the ball off of a Harvey Elliott chip cross that was never going to be threatening. Even with good build-up play, this is what is happening. And this, in my opinion, is why Liverpool have struggled to score goals. But it's more so the lack of identity. Where we have been playing in the past, pressuring in midfield, winning the ball back and quickly advancing it forward, we don't have that anymore. Not to mention, we're not playing with the traditional link-up play that we normally have, where the center forward drops into the midfield and we have the wide guys collapsing in the middle and creating chances. Now we are forced to play balls over the top to Darwin and bless his heart, he has plenty of chances, he just hasn't found his shooting boots yet which, if he does, is going to be a problem. But at this point in time, he hasn't. And so Liverpool are stuck in this rut of not being able to score because they're relying on one style of play that they're not typically used to, and we're in this transitional period. All in all, what I think needs to happen is Liverpool need to get all of their prolific attackers back and healthy. That's number one. But number two, find their identity again. Start playing in the midfield, winning the midfield battle. If you can do that, you are going to create chances on the offensive end and you're going to prevent build-up play from the opposition in the midfield. That's where we're getting broken down. Play is getting switched into open space because of the lack of midfielders present and the amount of space that's there. And they're ultimately counterattacking and winning matches that we shouldn't be losing. I'd be very interested to know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Of course, we have plenty of time left in the season and I'm pretty confident Liverpool will finish top four. But at this point in time, we need to look at how Liverpool are playing and assess it, guys. Again, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this content, and until next time, Reds, take care.